Chan channel. I'm Chandler. And I'm Lucy. And we're inside of our closet. You didn't know they made closets in New York, did ya? But you didn't know that, did ya? You did, you little kid, you didn't know that? Okay, well if you can't tell, our closet is a little full. And so today's fall bucket list item. We're doing a fall series called Autumn in New York where we do something every single day for 30 days to become more fall people. And today we're doing a fall closet clean out. A fall closet clean out. I mean, we honestly do this every six months or so. This no, is, we don't. Maybe you I, do. I'm going to be honest. I do. You do. You just <laughs> screamed at me. <laughs> <laughs> also, I just wish you could see, like, my hands are in Chandler's pockets right now. That's how close we have to be to be in this club. <laughs> to be honest, I think I've maybe worn one-fifth of the things that are in here. Mm -hmm. I, I am also the kind of person who wears the same thing every day. I'm not very good at getting rid of clothes. I'll be honest. Yeah. I got rid of a few things last time we did laundry, which I'm proud of myself. But I think Lucy is going to need to help me when it comes to being brave deciding what to keep and what not to keep. I like my clothes, but there's definitely some clothes in there that probably just don't fit that well. So mm. I should probably just try some things on and also- Like your extra, extra small leggings. Being ridiculous, I love it. Okay, um. <laughs> Picture you just. Those are your legs walking around the streets of New York City. As you can see, we're in different outfits. The day got away from us. And so now we're back at it just one day later. We actually haven't started. After that fun intro, we didn't start. No, but we had a good time in that intro. We did. Okay. Honestly, we were on one. So here's the game plan. The game plan is to put everything on our bed that we're just feeling iffy about. Mm -hmm. We don't have to make up our mind because sometimes I can get stuck with each individual thing. Oh, and then we're gonna create two piles. The okay. pile of goodbye and the pile of hello. hello again. What's that girl's name? I'm thinking of the What Sparks Ma Joy girl. Yeah, Maria Kondo. There we go. You can't, we can't put that in this video. We're gonna Maria, Maria Kondo this. Marie, Marie Kondo, Marie Kondo. We're gonna Marie Calendar this. Uh. One of her little chicken pot pies. That's what we're doing tonight. The Marie Calendar, our whole closet. <laughs> that note, let's make some piles. There is honestly something so soothing and therapeutic about just cleaning out your closet. So I'm really happy that we were challenged to do this. I feel like it's just easy to neglect this. Um, but we ended up finding a lot of clothes that we forgot about, which was really helpful going into the colder weather. Okay, got my pile. It's um, a lot of clothes. It is a lot of clothes, mostly because I just need to try these things on. It's not that I don't like them necessarily, it's just that I don't know if they fit. So I'm gonna do a lot of trying on of things. Yeah, any updates? Well, I'm trying to go through my clock. It just, there's too much in here. You know what I really want like a reset of? Like I wanna get rid of every pair of socks and underwear I have and like buy all new ones. I'm not gonna do it, but that just, I have that urge. I sorted through my pile and now this is my giveaway pile. I'm so impressed. You didn't really falter. Like you were pretty confident. I'm usually pretty bad at this, but I did keep more stuff than I was expecting. So well, cause I kept that's telling the you caveat I liked to all this. I kept telling you I liked it on you. Keep pile. Donate pile. Having a fun epiphany here. Um, Real raw talk. Well, I don't want to get into the rawness of it, but- Can I get into the rawness of it? Sure. Well, my legs have gotten slightly bigger, <laughs> but only slightly. But it, and, like you're, because they're getting stronger. Clarify that. I've been working out for like the past year. And some of these jeans I have not tried on for a year. And so I was actually about to just like keep this whole pile of jeans because like I'm sure they fit. I'm trying them on though. It, I think it's also because like skinny jeans just aren't in style anymore. But. We also had, <gasps> here, let me just show a clip of you. so bad. These are not. For context, these are the best ones. Like these are the least skinny skinny of them. I don't it's kind of hard to tell how skinny they are. Pretty skinny. Hey. While you're here, 
looking at all our clothes we're getting rid of. Will you like this video? That would help us so much. All right. I got a big pile, honestly. Like, look at all that. I'm honestly surprised because we moved here six months ago and I got rid of probably this much stuff six months ago too. And I've maybe only like purchased three or four things that I can think of. And my sister's given me like some random clothes here and there since then. So I don't know why I didn't get rid of these in the past. Maybe I was holding out hope. Could have saved a shipping box, apparently. <laughs> I think I'm just like, some of these things I was like, oh, these are really good quality, so I should keep them, but they just, I have trouble getting rid of things just cause like I, if I haven't worn them a sufficient amount of time, if that makes sense, and like give them their wear in. I feel like I have a lot of things in here, shockingly, that I've only worn once or twice that I, if I'm being honest with myself, I'm probably just not gonna wear again. So because of that, I feel like I should sell some of this stuff. So I might sell it on my Instagram. Kind of excited about that mostly just to get rid of it. Um, and I'm excited about the space. Let me show you my armoire. Okay, really proud of this. We got sweatshirts, workout clothes, pants, and some pajamas here, underwear, tank tops. Also got rid of a lot more of our tote bags. Still working on that. I feel like our last thing we'll need to do, and this will probably be later, will be our shoe situation. I don't know if we'll donate a ton of them, but just a little disorganized. This is our pile. This is what it looks like. <laughs> I think we're gonna end up putting these in bags and we can just figure out next week what we're gonna do. Do you hear that sizzling? That's our dinner. That's dinner. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty accomplished. How are you feeling? This is a good fall activity. What percent more fall are you? Solid three. I'd say three as well. It's pretty like basic activity. This could happen any time of the year, but 100%. I'm glad that through our research of fall activities that we came upon this one, because mm -hmm. I feel like this is just something that we needed to get done anyways. We did. And also it helped me acknowledge what was in the closet for cold weather that I haven't seen in like over six months. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. I need that. I need to wear that. Biggest win. Biggest win is whenever we end up getting rid of it, because it's just on our bed right now. I think for me, it's getting rid of a fat stack of pants. Like I think I, I got know, rid of your skin five pairs. Pants. That's a lot that, of pairs that I, I just know. thought I could fit in. Oh. Well, thanks for tuning in and we will see you tomorrow.